again! Time, Kuso. Ah, you again! What do you want? Haven't you been paying attention, boy? Ah, stop talking in circles! I'm sick of you hijacking my dreams, dude! Huh? Whoa! Uh, let go of me right now! We two are one, Dan Kuso. What's that mean? We share a bond that you can scarcely comprehend. Go forth, battle for the energy to feed me before I unleash Raisin Light upon you. Uh. So Magmal is his name. Huh? Well, how do you know? Did I talk in my sleep again? No, I was in a kind of dream state, and I think I might have had the same nightmare you did. Man, Drago, this is getting weirder by the day. I feel like we're losing control. to work out. You guys don't want me to battle and I think you're out of your minds. End of story. You're not the only one on this team, Dan. So quit being so stubborn and listen to these guys. Watch it. Fine. If you've got something to say, just say it. Well, we're concerned about the current battle tournament in Bakugan Interspace. You guys might still be number one in the rankings, but it's obvious that something is bugging you. You're starting to slip. We can see it, and even worse, the audience can see it. What? We're not trying to gang up on you, honestly. We're just concerned about what could happen if you're not on your game. I've told you a hundred times we're fine. Now quit wasting our time, okay? That's right. If everything is rainbows, how come whenever Drago loses it, Synthon shows up and starts blowing things to smithereens? Enough, Tristar! Why? Someone has to say it. Come on, Dan. We're your friends no matter what, but that doesn't mean you can ignore what we're telling you. Part of being a good leader is knowing when to listen. Unbelievable! Now you're gonna lecture me on being a leader? Are you kidding me? I'm out of here. Hey, wait! Hold on! Uh, uh, don't touch me! Perucho! Just back off. I'm asking you nicely. What? Secrets are like, they're just like poison, Dan. Remember that. Huh? still refusing to listen. Maybe it's time we let him fall flat on his face. What an incredible end to one of the most spectacular battles this announcer has ever seen inside Bakugan Interspace. With the captain of Team Anubius, Anubius himself taking the victory over Miss Salon from Team Salon. This result means that Anubius is now tied with Dan Kuso for first place in the ranking. Which in turn means Dan and Anubius will face off in tomorrow's headliner. Will Anubius have what it takes to unseat the unbeatable Dan Kuso and take the championship crown of Interspace? It didn't take him long to catch up. Uh-uh. <sighs> it's that kid. Huh? Huh? Uh. Ability activate! Dragon Heart Striker! Ah! Ability activate! Dragon Force Striker! Sorry, Dan. That one took a lot out of me. 
Yeah, but it looks like you're starting to get a handle on it. So don't sweat it, buddy. Yes, it did feel like I had much more control that time. That's awesome! You think you're ready to have another go? I don't want to lose momentum now that you're getting the hang of this. So, are you gonna hit me with everything you've got tomorrow, Kuso? Or are you gonna hold back like you did last time? And treat me like a chump? I think it got that backwards! Ugh. You're the one who just gave up and threw in the towel! Well, there's no glory in beating a legend when he's only giving half an effort. <sighs> Forget what you think of me, Kuso. With a battle record like yours, you owe it to yourself to defend your legend. With every ounce of your being, Dan. Ah! Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Oh man, what a day. Ugh. Come on, Dan. We're your friends no matter what. That doesn't mean you can ignore us. Secrets are like, they're just like poison, Dan. Remember that. You okay? It really stinks. What does? Marucho and Shun not trusting us. It really stinks. Why can't they just believe that you and I know what we're doing? Perhaps it's time that we let them in on what's been happening. I can't help but wonder. If we remove the stress of keeping things a secret, maybe we'll have an easier time harnessing these new powers. You know what? I've got a better idea! Oh yeah! We stick with the plan, keep quiet until we win the battle against Anubius. After that... Their faith in us will be restored. Hmm. More. My minions, I need more. Continue to battle for the energy that will free us from this prison. This one is for our teammates, Drago. It's time for us to take the crown, Iridian. We are mere moments away from the match of the century. I'm talking about the battle that will determine who wins the title of Bakugan Interface League Champion! Aw, <sighs> oh, man. You aren't gonna try and talk me out of doing this again, are you? No, Dan. We're not here to do that. Promise. Huh? If you insist on battling, then we're in your corner all the way. Just be careful. If things feel like they're starting to go sideways, just pull the plug. <clears throat> Listen, guys, everything will be clear after the match. What? So does that mean that you'll... Just trust me, okay? I promise I'll meet you in the park after the battle. See ya! Huh. Hmm. Drago, it's all coming together. You bet. Now let's win this! <laughs> Fun. Ha. Ability 
makes it impossible for the opponent to use any of his defense abilities. Now Drago can't put up any more defense shields. What? Oh no! Oh yes, Kuso. Gate card, open! Record freeze! <laughs> this is my favorite command card, because it prevents one's opponent from using any ability they've already used in the current battle. So enjoy. <sighs> If Drago hopes to win, he'll have to reach into his bag of tricks and pull out his most powerful abilities. What? Uh, keep it together, Drago. If Drago opens up an ability that's too powerful, he runs the risk of losing control of his powers again. Oh, no. They're double whammy because Drago can't use his defense abilities either. Let's hope that they can hang on. Ah. You said it yourself before, Drago. You're gaining more control. What's wrong? Why the hold up, Kuso? Ability, activate! And Gardner Alpha! What's that? You hear that? That's the sound, Kuso, of your victory disappearing! We can't lose this battle! If we do, Shun and Marucho's trust is lost forever! Don't worry, Tan. I know what's at stake, and I won't let you down. Huh? You done yakking? Anubius, there's something you got to understand. You might be in this for your own glory, but it's a very different story for us. You got that? The Battle Brothers are a team that fight for each other! Are you really so naive that you believe that, Kuso? I always thought you were smarter than that. Pipe down! Team, I only see a single opponent facing me here. This battle will be won or lost based on how you wield your own personal power. Uh, my own power? Come on, Kuso. Show me your power. Use your power. It's him. Activate! 
Raisinoid go! <gasps> what the heck was that? You could have really hurt him! What an epic fail! What's wrong with you, Dan? <sighs> so Mechagon Xenthon was with them the whole time! How messed was that? Oh, they totally <sighs> broke the rules, dude! They should be bounced out of the tournament! How could you? <laughs> well, I'm at a loss for words, fans! That was an outcome I don't think any of us could have predicted! For using an unsanctioned combatant, Dan Kuzo has been disqualified! Which means that your new Bakugan Interspace Champion is... Anubia! Power was even greater than I ever thought. That one almost got away from you, Anubius. Whatever. Master Magmel will still be quite pleased. Dan must have gotten held up. Are you kidding me? After a battle like that, he probably went and buried his head in the sand. Don't say that. Seriously, you can't expect him to not be totally embarrassed. He just lost his crown and got booted from competition. I think I even heard some of his own fans booing. But he said that... Tristar's right. He's not coming. But he promised me he'd clear everything up after the battle, even though we're fighting. It's not like Dan to break a promise. He wouldn't do that to us. Not ever, guys. Dan and Drago are coming. I just know it. I know it. I don't think I can face them ever again.
seriously wrong with Dan and Drago. They just disappeared after the last battle without a trace. I know losing to Anubius was humiliating, but I've never known either of them to give up so easily. Unfortunately, before we could go in search of them, this strange device shows up in Bakugan Interspace. It's bad news, so I wonder if Dylan's behind it. It appears to amp up the destructive powers of all the Bakugan who are battling. You have to tune in so you can check out just how much raw power I'm talking about. Not Celon again. What does she want now?